back. I know, like, very sporadic. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to share with you all right now my May favorites, and we'll just jump right in and get started. So the one thing I've really enjoyed is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. It's a cleansing balm. I am a huge fan of cleansing balms. There's a few others that I really like. I could probably just do a whole video just on the ones I like. But Kristen Game, she has a channel here. She's very active. She's really good at videos. She loves this and she was telling me about it. I just had a mega bowl. Did you hear that? Anyway, I love it. It works good. You put it all on. Look, can you see? I've been using it up. I generally put it on, wipe it all in. Sorry, somebody just drove by. And then, you know, take it off and wash my face again. So, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. I do enjoy that. Then, let's see, where do we want to go next? Okay, another skincare item that I really liked. I bought this in April and I have been using it religiously, like all the time is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. Not only does it smell delicious, I can tell a big difference in my skin. I'm super dry, like super, super, like sandpaper dry, like <laughs> dry. I'm dry, I'm dry, not oily anywhere. This is oil, so I just feel like my skin is like glomp, 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 drinks it up. Like I really do, I really. I'm a fan of oils, but this one, it's delightful, y'all. It really is. And it's got like, can you see it's got little gold flakes in there? It smells so good too. I like it. I really like it. So that's one thing. Okay, another thing. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've been through, I know at least four of these. The Too Faced RX Hangover, and it's the it's a replenishing face primer. It's silicone free, it has coconut water in it. And I don't know, I do. I just feel like I can tell a difference when I don't use it before my makeup. And I, I just like what it does. It's not anything like, it's not gonna blur your lines or anything like that. But since I am so dry, it just tends to, like after the oil and all of that, it just tends to help my makeup go on better. Because first of all, foundation is just not going to go on nicely on dry skin. So you really need to hydrate your skin before you start slathering it all on there. And y'all know me. I pack it on. I do. Anyway, so I really like that. That's not the first time I've told y'all about that. I share that all the time. It's something that y'all have seen me use so often um, in the last few weeks on Instagram Live that I haven't been able to share yet. I've had it for a little while. They were nice enough to send me this particular product. The other things I've showed you so far I've purchased, but this was sent to me by Too Faced and it's the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. And it's a 3-in-1 replenishing primer and setting spray. Silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. But it has a delightful coconut water, I mean, it smells like coconut because there's coconut water in it. And it has it's probiotic based and it has skin revivers in it. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Since I have such dry skin, it is so nice because I love to be able to not only spray it on before I start, but throughout the day here and there. Lately, I've told y'all, like, I don't know why my makeup's been doing better. Like, I feel like my foundation and powder has just been like looking better, feeling better, and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's this, and I couldn't share it with y'all till now, but it is. And this, I believe this will be hitting the stores mm, like June 15th. So, yes, for me, it's a win-win. And I do definitely see the difference with using this like I had been forever and adding this to it. So it's the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. I do like that, girls. I do, I do. Now, two foundations I've been favoring the whole month of May. Y'all know I had some travel. I had a lot of travel. So, and I had some pictures and things that had to be made of me and I just had some big things in May. So I wanted to really be um, camera ready. So with that being said, I used quite a lot this month. I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. This one, it, girls, it's extreme coverage. Like, extreme, like, it works. 
you don't need much and it really really works I mean it works so um, I have the color in tawny I know I look pretty pale right now maybe it's the lighting I don't know but um, when I self tan I use tawny or when I'm not I think I use creamy tan yeah those are the two but again so I use this foundation a ton this month and the it cosmetics confidence in a compact when I didn't have to worry so much about like being photo photographed or anything like that um, I leaned towards using the it cosmetics confidence in a compact and so it's it has a serum in it it's got um, an SPF of 50 which I don't love that um, I don't use the little puff as you can see but I have used quite a bit can y'all see down in there I mean really I have used it used it used it now in this I have the color light obviously I don't use this when I'm self tanning this particular color but any other time I'm on it I really have enjoyed it and this is perfect I feel like both of these are are good for travel the caps on securely it's a tube so I don't have to worry about it breaking and this compact I don't have to worry about anything slipping out of here so both of these were great for travel as well now the new powder I picked up this month or oh I picked up a new one this month I should say like um, another one because I went through one and again y'all see me use this all the time on Instagram live is the best of translucent and I got it in the brightening French vanilla powder so there's only one shade of the French vanilla I don't know I can tell a huge difference I, I know that's crazy but I think the combination of the hangover RX spray and this powder has been a game changer for me this month I mean maybe I'm wrong but in my own opinion I feel like it has I have seen I've seen improvements where you know I was hoping to didn't take my wrinkles away but I do feel like there it's just been a good combination of things so the best of powder you open it up and there's a little sifter in there and it smells like French vanilla straight up delicious I put it on with a big fluffy brush and I love it. So there's that. Another favorite. The Age Rewind, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer is what I've been leaning towards. I even used it here today. I used the Besame today. The um the It Cosmetics today. The Besame powder. I use the Age Rewind also. Now um Yikes, I dropped that. <gasps> Thank goodness it didn't break. Okay, the bronzer that I've been leaning towards and using a ton lately. With, I'm going to show you with this big fluffy brush that I'm in love with. Is the um, number seven bronzer in Golden Sands. I bought it in Golden Sands and Caramel. And when I'm a little paler because my self tanner's worn off, I use the um, Golden golden scenes and then when my self tanner's like kicking in high gear I use the caramel um, they're new they're even new to the drugstore so picked them up to try and I have really enjoyed them I really have and it's kind of cute cute there's a big old mirror on this side but it's got a cute little compact I mean look at that I've got fingerprints all over mine and I've been applying it with this big huge morphe fluffy brush it's the e42 but look y'all see I mean look just feel like I ordered another one of these just to use for blush and powder and stuff but this one I just use for um, the bronzer because look how it just can you see you know I don't know I can bronze this way and peer even even my gobble wobble I don't know it's a great brush the Morphe E42 then a highlighter I've kind of been liking to add a little bit to the cheeks because look I'm a grown woman I am you know I have a child in college so I don't really need highlighter that is screaming, you know, from space. I need a more subtle highlighter because for one, I do have kind of enlarged pores, I feel like. So you don't want to add highlighter to that. That's like screaming, look at my big giant pores. So what I've been really favoring for the month and have had a lot of success with, I feel like, is the Makeup Revolution Sun Kiss Highlighter and Peach Kiss. It's ginormous, first of all. Look, I mean, look, that's my head. It's ginormous. I think it's like ten dollars. Get it at Ulta. I did break my lid off. That was my fault. But it's really pretty. 
Can you see? And it's super subtle. It may not look like it to y'all, but it really is subtle. Oh, let me just stick my fingernail in it. See what I mean? I have it on today. I've been been wearing it a ton. I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. Two blushes that I have been um, using quite a bit in the last month. One I've shared before, I think maybe on my blog, I'm almost positive, is this Ambient. It's by Hourglass and it's an Ambient Blush in Mood Exposure. You'll see. It's just kind of mood exposure. It's a very pretty. I have it on with another one. I kind of like touched up today with another one, which I was like, dang it, Dika, why'd you do that? You're gonna do this video, but oh well. So I use the Hourglass of Mood Exposure and I'm like, Y'all know me. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. I, I'm okay with the circle. I mean, the circus clown look. I like me some blush. The other um, blush I have favored quite a bit is Wet Wild Rose Champagne. I mean, look, y'all, it's like a three or four dollar blush. But can you tell? I've really used it. I put that one on again. Let's see here. Right before came on to do this video but let me just add some more blush I don't know it's subtle it's pretty it's coming across kind of tan on there and I feel like it's a not as tan as it looks on the screen it looks a little more peachy natural I mean look can you see trust me it's a pretty color and for four dollars you're not gonna really screw up the brush I prefer to put it on with you can see I just Went to town with this yesterday and today, so it's nice and dirty. It's the Morphe Y5. It's a nice shape. It's not too big. Look. I like this brush. I'll list everything down below. Two eyeshadows y'all may have seen me use a bajillion times. Well, one eyeshadow and one contour palette that I use for um, my eyes that y'all have seen me use a million times on Instagram live and I'm sure I've mentioned it on my blog before but you know when things are a favorite they're a favorite for a reason So that the eyeshadow Well, let's start with this one the Tarte Tartus Pro to, gl to go Tartus gl Pro Glow to go. I mean la 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 Look at that I got the puddles of lipstick all happening Okay, so here it is the Tarte Tartus Pro Glow to go this is like a $23, $26 little palette and it's got the two highlighters and the contour. Well, I tend to use this on my mobile lid, meaning here, and then in the crease, um, right, the color chisel kind of in my crease. And then I go in with, I love that it's little, and I've used it for contour before, but I prefer it on my eyes. And then I'll go in with the Viseart, 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 however you prefer. This was again a gift from Kristen Game. I'll link her below and it's in the Theory, palette in minx too can you see i go hard on this palette all the time like all the time i'm in there just like <clears throat> like hard i go super hard on it because i really like these colors it's got three mattes and three shimmers i prefer the the this side the matte side but they're all pretty they're all really pretty it's about a 45 dollar palette i know that's pricey but listen this palette I love so much. This was a birthday gift from Kristen. I love it so much. It's gonna make me now buy the bigger Busy Art palette. I, I can't I can't control myself anymore. I must have it. I've decided I have to have it. I have a couple more things and then we're done. So two, I have these two lipsticks. I actually have a third. It's just not here with me, but I know the color, so I can share the or the shade that I can share with y'all. But these are from Tarte. One's Pink Lemonade and one's Beach Babe. And I also have a third in the color Rum Punch. So these, I just think they're so pretty. They feel great, they stay on well. They're moisturizing, kind of creamy. I don't know, they're delightful. I mean, they really are. This one is Beach Babe. See, it's definitely a nude. Surprise, surprise. And then here's Pink Lemonade. I feel like this Pink Lemonade is a little more of a peachy nude. See? Pink Lemonade, Beach Babe. And these are Tarte. And then again, I have the other color in Rum Punch. Very pretty too. It's a little more of a mauve, 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 whatever your preference is. Kind of a um, nudish tone, but more of the mauve. So there we go there. 
pretty little bullets and these blue little marbleized um, bullets. I like those. I think that's a really pretty package. Um, something y'all seen me buy. Y'all might have seen me purchase this, but another favorite is the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. I mean, lipstick. I'm sorry. This is the matte, the Buxom matte lip gloss in White Russian. Y'all know I like the Buxom White Russian lip gloss. So when they came out with the Buxom White Russian lipstick, I thought I needed it. And I was right. Here it is right here. So definitely nudes, but here's the White Russian. It's delightful. Now, this is this product isn't new, but it is a favorite of mine, especially this time of year. My lips are extra dry. The only problem is is my senior citizen eyes aren't kicking in. Hmm. This is the YSL. I'm gonna slaughter this. It's the tint and oil one. There's I can't see the color, but really it's just clear. Y'all, it's I'm just kind of tap, tap, tap. Hmm. I'll even put it on at night sometimes, or just when I'm around the house. It really hydrates and moisturizes your lips, in my opinion. I love this stuff so much that in another video, you'll see something that I bought because I love this so much. Okay, one last thing, and then I'll be out of here. Um, this. This is a lotion. It's the Brazilian... Bum Bum Cream, I could be saying that wrong. It's from Sol de Janeiro. Again, it's like Sephora. Um, this is the eight ounce size, I believe. I could be wrong about that, who knows? Let's see, oh yeah, totally wrong. This is a 2.5 ounce. Hello, Tika, it's little. 2.5 ounce, I bought Pookie the bigger one. The larger one's 40 and I believe this one's 20. Now, let me say this. I had went to Sephora several times to purchase this and I'd open it, you know, the little tester and I, you see, I've been using it. Can you see it's like messing on that one side? I had it in my bag. I think it was on the side too. Anyway, I went to Sephora several times to buy this and I was like, mm, you know, it smells nice, but I don't feel like it smelled like everybody was claiming. Like I'd watch these videos and girls would talk about how, women would talk about how fabulous it smelled and I was like, when I say it smells fabulous, I mean, no. Does it smell good? Sure. Well, so I just never bought it. And then for Easter, Pookie wanted some, so I got her a big jar. And it was, I found myself every so often, I'd be like, wait, Pookie, that's my daughter, if you're new here, and she's 19. I'd say, wait, what, do you, what perfume do you have on? You smell so good. What do you have on? And she'd say, no, Mom, I have on the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm like, really? It doesn't smell like that in the jar. So once she would put it on, I feel like the scent took on even a, it just took on a better scent. It just got like, it just got better, it did. So that prompted me to buy a small one. So I did, did the same thing, you know, put it on and I would get compliments from like random people. They're like, wow, you smell good. And I'm like, it's the lotion. Cause even I, I thought, that's crazy. So it smells nice in the jar, but in my opinion, it smells so much better when you put it on and it starts working with your body chemistry or maybe when it soaks in. I don't know, but I enjoy the scent much, much better once it's soaked in. And it does soak in quick. It does, it does hydrate. It feels like really nice. Does it tighten? I don't see that happening, but it is a very nice lotion. So that's that. So don't let this scent straight out of the jar fool you. Kind of maybe put you some on and live with it a minute and see. Y'all, oh, here's a favorite. Oh, there's one more. I'm going to do a couple non, um, I should probably share a couple non beauty favorites. Here's one. Hmm. Y'all know Diet Coke's my favorite, but you'll probably see me on Instagram live all the time with one of these when I'm getting ready in the morning. It's just the cork sickle stainless steel double insulated. I think it's a 24 ounce size, just, you know, with the lid. Lord knows I have no business drinking anything without a lid on it. I'm probably the reason adult sippy cups were made. So I love these. I have four of them. Four. I have peach, turquoise, pink, and a really pretty green. I do want a white one and a rose gold. I use one every single day. I love how, for one, it fits in my hand. It goes in my cup holder nice and simple. It's 
not too heavy. I don't know. I like the sleekness of it. I think it's pretty. Two of mine have monograms on them, and I don't know. It's just a favorite. It is what it is. Hmm. I'll try to link those down below, too. One other thing. This is so random, but I really enjoy it. This is a charging station. Look, for my iPhone. I have iPhone 6S Plus. So, you know, you plug that into whatever. And then you put your phone in here. Which, mine's not here, or I would show you. So, like, if this was your phone, your phone ends up going like that, and it sticks straight up. And then I had this next to my bed, so, like, I can turn the alarm off when it goes off or whatever. It's just kind of... I just like that it holds my phone, charges it, and kind of keeps things nice and tidy. So I was like, it was like ten or eleven dollars on the Amazon. I'll try to find it and link it below too. But yeah, I, I stayed somewhere with a friend. Oh, went to Florida and stayed with a friend, and she had one in her guest room for me to use, and I kind of got hooked on it there. So I came and found me one. Love it. Love, love, love it. I don't know what it is. At least it's not. You know, with the, just the cord, I felt like my phone would slide around my nightstand and stuff, and this keeps it from doing that. I like that. Just saying. Um, oh, one last non-makeup favorite. Oh, two last non-makeup favorites. Look. I know. I just met Gold again. Look. If you watch me on Snapchat or on Instagram stories or anything like that, you may have seen this. It's a straw bag for summer. Can you see? And it's, um, so it's obviously straw like I just said. It has two leather handles. This is a large size. It comes in a medium and a small. It's blue and white, white gingham. And it does come in a pink and a white gingham, but I loved the blue and I didn't, they um, put my initials on it. In navy blue as well so I just like that for summer I wish I could see can I back up some more anyway it's nice and square and it's got a big square bottom feels sturdy but not heavy I think it was like here's a cord I mean the cord here's the price tag it was like $72 so I don't know it's very nice and who doesn't love gingham I mean gingham gingham some cute stuff right so there's that. And then one final thing. <sighs> We're always losing our phone chargers, like always. That's why I loved the one that I just showed y'all with a little docking station built in because I felt like, okay, that one can stay next to my bed all the time. And I know it's there. I don't have to move it. I don't have to unplug it. It's there. I can come home from traveling, pop my phone in. It's getting charged. Now, with that being said, I need something to travel with because I travel a lot. So I found, and this came in a box. I just I didn't keep the box. Or I just didn't. So this came in a box. It's a long cord. It's gold and hot pink. It fits your iPhone. You can see the little doodad here. And it came with a, it came with the plug like this. And it also came with the one that goes in the car that looks, you know, like the, the little part for the car that would fit into what used to be the cigarette lighter. I don't know what that's actually called now, but you know what I'm talking about. So it came with one of those for the car and then one to plug into the wall and the gold cord. I mean, look, this thing is long. Okay, I am, I'm 5'8". This is touching the floor. This is touching the floor at a curve. So it's long, <laughs> nice and long which you just need sometimes let's let's be honest you just need it so anyway guys those are my favorites i'm happy to share i hope y'all enjoyed that and i'll see y'all next time so bye have a great weekend oops i gotta stop it don't i